Yeah, thank you so much, Colin. So, so one of our European visitors, actually all the way from Holland, right, and an expert in the Alvin Vega. So the Alvin Vega boat, again, is a 27-foot sailboat that Matt is on, has a bit of a cult following in Europe, as we understand. In fact, there's a club about it. Can you tell us a little bit about that club? Yes, well, let me introduce myself. I'm Rob Klosterman. We have been uh, in the international uh, Vega uh, community. We have a large uh, owner clubs in uh, Holland, in Scandinavia, in Germany, and in, uh, in the UK, and also in North America. And uh, we have an umbrella organization which we call FODA One Design Association. And I am the secretary of it. Good, good. Well, tell us, what are you presenting with Matt today? Well, as, uh, as appreciation uh, for what uh, Matt has been uh, doing, and also to express our admiration, we made a, certification, a certificate uh, for him, and uh, we hope uh, he is uh, wanting to uh, accept it, because uh, this... Uh, yeah, to, to make uh, a trip uh, like this with a boat like Vega, what is already said, the Vega is not really uh, designed for uh, trips like this. Uh, it is a wonderful achievement, and, but it still proves that uh, an old boat, 40 years old, uh, can, can make this. Uh, in Holland, we, uh, we have now established uh, uh, a special um, uh, association for boats like this, which we call the Poly Classic uh, Association, uh, because there are also other makes of uh, like El de Vega, and we want to ma maintain all these uh, vintage sort of yachts uh, to keep them going. Great, thank you so much for being with us. I know Matt is going to appreciate this. Great, thank you. Oh, yes, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Now, you can see boats are starting to come in, and we're starting to get some excitement. We've got the bugle band behind us, the marching band. Um, we have sounds from the Oyster Boys that are going in the background. So it really is an exciting event today. We have hundreds of people. And we actually have someone special with us that um, is one of the clients of TRAP, somebody who has benefited from the sailing. Come on up. How are you? Doing great, doing great. Great, I'm Gillian. Hi, Kevin. So, Kevin, tell us a little bit about what crab and what sailing has meant to you. Yes, it's a... Yep, come on, we're coming a little bit closer so they can hear us. Yeah. We're competing with the marching band, exactly but that's right. all right. That is true. Um, but sailing is great. Um, I, come, I come here um, twice twice a month. Louder. No? Yeah. All right, I come here twice a month, and um, the, first, the second Sunday of every month is uh, Gracie. And I love, I love, I love coming to race and uh, try, try to um, improve my sailing skills and um, be number one. Be number one. Yeah. I love it. We, we got, I mean, my, my goal every every month is to beat Tom. Um, nice. <laughs> beat, nice. Beat the president. And are you ever number one? I. Really close, I bet. Real, real close. Really close. Real close yeah. This year, this is your year. This is my year. This is my year. This is your year. No, this is my year. Good. It's gonna be good. And then I mean, the, it's good to get out and um, just sail with them, um, the uh, the club, and also people meet people all the time. It's great. The, it's great, great to come. And I mean, and it's also to get um, like like that um, the boat up there on the on the on the, on the um, in the dock right now. That, that is a. Um, that's the boat I sail on. Oh, that's your boat. That's your boat. I was like, great thing, I'm going to sail today. All right. Good, good. Well, thank you so much. I know you're going to want to say hi to me. Do you know Matt? Yeah, you know Matt? Yeah, I've never met Matt. All right, that's another one that we're going to have to do this year. Okay, good. Good. All right, well, thank you. All right, thanks so much for being with us. So again, right now we're about 15 minutes away from Matt's arrival here at Annapolis where he will set foot on land for the first time in 314 days. I'm going to go ahead and just let you watch the views for a few minutes. Um,
boat should be coming in here shortly. Um, Hi guys, so we are back. As we mentioned, we are live here uh, welcoming home Matt Rutherford from his historic voyage, 25,000 miles, sailing around North and South America, setting foot on land for the first time today. And we're here with Raymond Crosby, who has not only been donating a ton of time um, for the firm Crosby Marketing, but also wants to talk just a little bit about what it means to raise the funds to really help Matt finish this voyage. Right, Matt's been out there, just an amazing feat to be out on the water for those many days by himself through all the elements and now I think what it's up to all of us to do is really to help support Matt and what his vision was of setting out and proving that you can overcome anything and to help Crab really move its mission forward by buying new boats, buying important equipment and expanding its outreach efforts. So Matt had set a challenge for all of us to help him raise $250,000 for Crab for this cause. So I'm asking everybody out there to get online, go to crabsailing.org, give till it hurts. Matt certainly has done his part. Now it's time for all of us to do our part. So help raise that goal. We're only about a third of the way to the goal. So we've raised about $80,000, but we got to get to that $250,000 challenge. So join me. And it's been a privilege for Crosby to be involved in this. And we hope everybody else gives now and helps bring home Matt. Great. Thank Thanks. you. You know, Raven brought up an important point. There is a new challenge that's been issued, and it's been issued by the Sailors of Godspeed. So Matt learned really how to sail working alongside a friend of his, Simon Edwards. Godspeed, the boat that he helped Simon Edwards move from, from place to place, has come together and said they will give $21,000 if everyone can help match it. So literally going today to www.crabsailing.org and donating just a little bit to help that match will really help complete Matt's voyage. Now, 314 days non-stop, not going to shore. You probably are wondering what Matt has been eating. Let me tell you, we have here with us George Hall, who's from Shelf Reliance, right? Correct. And Shelf Reliance donated a year's worth of freeze-dried food. Can you tell us how that works? Sure. Uh, freeze-dried food is simply food that's been put into a freezer under a vacuum. It removes the moisture, and that's all it does, uh, all the most of the weight, and so whenever you put the water back in, it becomes as fresh food again. So what has Matt been eating for the last year? Uh, meat, potatoes, vegetables, fruits, desserts, uh, anything you would eat, he's had in a, in a freeze-dried form. So he's going to be healthy and looking good when he gets back? I started. hope so. <laughs> yes, great. he will. All right, great. Now, he had uh, 2,000 calories a day for a year. Awesome. Good. All right. Thanks so much, George. We appreciate the donation. I certainly know that Matt appreciates the donation. So, as you can see, boats are starting to come in from the boat flotilla, this parade of boats that are helping to welcome Matt home. We're going to let you check out the boats for a little bit and listen to the marching band. Governor O'Malley will be here shortly. We have MC Gary Jobson, who, of course, is a sailing legend. Uh, so, Gary Jobson is going to be emceeing today's event. Um, we have representation from the city of Annapolis. As we said, many, many awards for Matt. So this is really exciting. Um, we're glad you can be here live with us and just enjoy the views.